Well, thank you, Melanie, for joining me. You did 20 years in the military, and you're doing Invictus Games right now. Talk about the importance of Invictus Games to you. Well, it's very important. Uh, my, me a year ago is not the same me that you see right now. I didn't know how much I actually needed this experience until, until I got here. That sense of purpose, um, that sense of camaraderie, I missed my brothers and sisters. So it's really opened me up. Like, honestly, it, it's only been just over a month that I actually said the words, I have PTSD out loud. So to say them on this level, I've, I've come a long way. You know, the shame that... It, that I put on myself has been lifted and it feels good and it's okay to have a mental illness and it's okay to have had a traumatic injury and traumatic experiences and move forward. It, it, it's inspiring, yeah. I want to thank you because when I was in the military back, you know, over 20 years ago, there wasn't really Invictus Games, there wasn't Vets Canada, there wasn't all these programs and the younger generation is actually making it for my generation. You're helping us out. Uh, I want you to talk about some tours that you did overseas and you know, it's how it affected you. Okay. Um, I did four tours. I did one to the former Yugoslavia, one to uh, Golan Heights, Israel, and two tours to Afghanistan. And during my time in Afghanistan, I was a stretcher bearer. And um, let me tell you, that, that changed me. Um, I wouldn't change the experience now. However, um, viewing seeing the war wounded come in and unfortunately my friends that couldn't make it home I was there to to bring them to to the roll three medical unit um, however we did save a lot of people too right but you know just coping with that afterwards um, I wouldn't have there's no other place I would have wanted to be you know um, I was there and to see the fighting spirit of these of these soldiers at their worst missing limbs everything their will to live well, you know, you, you got to take some of that and, and move yourself forward after a while, right? Because that depression, that's a hard one to kick, you know? That guilt, the survivor's guilt, that's hard. Um, so there are things available now. Um, it's getting better. We'll get there because we're fighting for it, right? We don't want any more soldier suicide. There's more... There's more, we've lost more veterans, Canadian veterans, to suicide than we have in the war itself in Afghanistan, and that's not acceptable. And we should honor them as well, because they didn't get injured right away. Their injury came years later, and, and it's hard to deal with. And the lack of services that were, were there, um, we're pushing. The ones that can are fighting. You just need, you know, like if, you're, if you can't fight for it, we'll fight for you. I want you to quickly just add, you know, what kind of programs you feel still need to be addressed uh, for us veteran community? Uh, there are a lot of programs that do uh, need to be addressed. Of course, our, um, <laughs> our transition out of the military still needs a lot of work. Uh, back when you released, it was like, bye, one day military, next day nothing, right? Um, and it's being addressed even since I, I retired in 2014. And... It was only for one person that I had a successful release, but after that, it's still kind of, uh, the supports weren't there. So, of course, we do need help with Veterans Affairs Canada. Absolutely. We all know that. Um, let's get that done <laughs> sooner than later. Uh, the new Veterans Charter needs a little bit of work there. Um, absolutely. Uh, but, you know, it's programs like these, like Soldier On. That's who I applied for for the games. That's where you, you where you're applying next year. Um, anyway, <laughs> so and and that's the thing. All shapes, all sizes, tall, thin, whatever doesn't matter. Missing limbs, anything you can participate, and that is what's great about the Invictus Games. Thank you so much for your time. You bet you. Thank you for for having me on with you guys. <laughs> Go Team Canada. <laughs>